Hi, we want to try and help you identify spiders around your house. Some are dangerous, some not so dangerous. Study of not dangerous, the garden orb weaver. Uh, seen around the garden, strung up between trees, often seen in the middle of the web, quite a large spider. The huntsman, also not dangerous, it's quite timid, very rarely bites. Can be seen running down the handle of a broom if they, you're trying to chase it away though. Um, found underneath the bark of trees usually. St Andrew's Cross, uh, often seen at night out in the garden. Their web is depicted by a little squiggly line. They're not that dangerous. The trapdoor can be mistaken for a funnel web. It's not aggressive, uh, often dwelling in a burrow. That's why it's mistaken. The black house spider has a painful bite, can cause nausea and swelling, often found in around the windows of houses and in particularly the crevice of mortar and brickwork. Mouse spiders, seen dwelling in the ground, often seen running around after rain, has a very toxic bite. Wolf spider, not aggressive, ground dwelling once again, has a toxic bite uh, but their nests are usually seen by having a large amount of web that leads down into the burrow itself. The redback spider has been known to cause fatal bites. And it's found under rocks and logs and rubbish and often up underneath the lip of the, your wheelie bin and places like that. So it pays attention. Very easily seen though, big red mark down its back. Sydney funnel web. Probably the most dangerous. They're found in funnels in the ground. They can be very aggressive in summer and autumn. And their nest is a, a little funnel in the ground, just as you can see here. The white tail spider has a very toxic bite and, once, and causes ulceration of the skin in a, quite an ugly sore. Best to be avoided. If you happen to leave your shoes outside, hit them hard on the ground to, before you put your foot in them, just to make sure there's no 